Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel, um, it's Uchi2 here, um, just wanted to pop on mine and um, introduce you to um, a couple of new things um, in the game that I think are really fun and um, worth playing. Um, so yeah, let me uh, hop right in. Um, let me turn this down. Let's pick up. Right. Um, <clears throat> so hopping right in, let's see here. I just wanted to, while I'm in the main menu, go ahead and show you guys this now. Um, in case you guys didn't see it in the post that I made. I did give you the option now to um, adjust the resolution. Um, you can do a resize window or you can just do full screen in like low definition, for example. Really uh, bad quality. <laughs> um, and just, you know, if your computer runs better this way, great, it's there. Um, I usually keep mine at about 1440 because my computer is usually good enough. Same thing for frame rate. You can go as down as slow as 30 frames, 60. Um, 120, 144, and then for the masters, 240. If you have a computer that can support that, all right. This is usually my setup: um, 1440, and then um, QHD, and then um, yeah, FPS um, at 120. Um, that's how my setup is. But um, most importantly, I wanted to go ahead and show off uh, the practice mode. Um, Super great mode. I love practice mode um, now because of some cool settings. Um, let's see who do I want to show off. We'll do Sasuke for me? now. Yeah, why not? Actually, Are you ready for I'm gonna do two Sasuke's because there's one of the settings I want to show off. Are you ready? For Are you ready for me? We'll do Academy Sasuke. Alright, and uh, let's go to, uh, yeah, Blue Dinosaur's Hideout at night. So you have one of the newer introduced stages. Um, actually, in the anime, the stage always took place like in the dark time, so I'm not sure why Class Ninja had it in the daytime, but anyway, the nighttime version will be in the game as the definitive. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, practice mode's in, um, and it works just like it normally does. Yeah. So, um, all the settings like normal work. Obviously, you jump, you approach and throw. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, um, substitution, which just means they substitute. Quick recovery. Computer of age is basically movement in general, so um, they don't actually fight or do anything, they just kind of run around. Good for practicing with moving targets, you know, making, seeing how things go. Yeah, obviously pretty hard to hit. You can substitute too, just because it's an invasion technique. So yeah, that's all it is, just practicing with moving. Obviously, normal computer, which is scaled to um, you know whatever your difficulty settings are, which mine are hard. Oh, yeah, I'm difficulty four. <laughs> um, <clears throat> obviously, player two allows you to use P2 controls if they're there, and mirror mode just mirrors um, your input, so you can you know, practice with yeah stuff like this. Because why not? We all love to do the combo clashes because it was so cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's mirror mode. <clears throat> um, all these settings just work. You can basically adjust them now on an individual level. So on would be everyone on. You can turn just P2 on, just P1 on, everyone off. Um, you can do all the settings like that for these kinds of things. Anything that's player specific you can do player specific basically. Um, the new settings include um, these two. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for these. Um, hitbox is self-explanatory because it just turns on the hitboxes. Um, let me turn off the gauge display just because it's prettier. So yeah, it shows you um, the hitboxes are in green, the hurtboxes, uh, I'm sorry, hitboxes are in red and the hurt boxes are in green, so those are pretty much always active. Um, but when they're not active, that's how you know um, when um, they're invulnerable and cannot be attacked. So yeah, this is how it works. Um, but my new favorite setting is Velocity Reduction. So basically Velocity Reduction, I don't think this is the official name for that feature, but basically um, this is the setting um, that prevents 
infinite combos. Um, so basically when you are juggling and you're knocking them in the air in um, my game and I think Revolution 3 and SP do this as well and I think Super Clash Ninja does it as well. Um, the max velocity uh, for how far you get knocked in the air it slowly reduces the longer the combo goes eventually. There is a peak at how much further it redu reduces so that you know it still makes somewhat sense but it reduces enough to where combos will stop working after too much time spent juggling. This prevents infinite combos. Um, I'll show you an example or attempt to show you an example. So um, this combo is pretty OP anyway. Um, hold on, let me focus on it. But um, it should, he's gonna fall out at some point. <sighs> yeah, it's already starting to fall out. See how he's like falling out? Um, yeah, so eventually he falls out. Um, you can do it a few times, but then he falls out because it's just getting lower and lower and lower. This. In practice mode, if you want to just play around with breaking the system, you can turn that off now. The other games didn't let you turn that off. Um, this basically just allows for infinity. You see, it's just infinitely infinite air. You can go for as long as you want, and he'll never fall out. Yeah. So um, I thought uh, this is just such a cool setting to play with. Um, it breaks most combos, like for example you see Sasuke falling out of this combo often because it's designed for him to eventually start to get lower, so I had to program it with the way to where you can do it multiple times if desired. Uh, so it's already, uh, for small characters it's already kind of funky. That should not, he should not be falling out this often, is it on? Oh that's why, that's why, yeah, so when it's off he falls out like every single time. When it's on, um, I have it set up so that way, yeah, when it's on, he should not fall out as often. Yeah. So that's why, but when it's off, certain combos like Sasuke's middle... Oh, that's not the right setting. Um, certain combos like Sasuke's main one breaks if you do it too quickly. So, um, but yeah, it's just a fun um, to set up. So I figured um, there could be like even a couple of mini games or like special uh, modes, just fun things to do. For example, like what if there's one where it's like juggle for 10 seconds. So basically once you start juggling, you can't stop. You have to basically find those infinite combos that allow you to keep juggling um, and not stop. Uh, maybe one that's the easy mode and the hard mode is juggle for 30 seconds. And you can just, you know, like this is a really good one to do because it lets you just, you know, it's a really easy button pattern. Um, but you can, of course, change it up. Maybe I'll do like a scoring points. So like how many different combos you use in there determines the actual score. So maybe you want to start with something more um, complex. Um, and then maybe start switching it up when he doesn't fall out of it. Um, Yeah, so, um, yeah, and you can do different things like that. Um, and notice, like, some of these, they do eventually hit the ground, even though they don't, you know, they can bounce, like, this one bounces you, and then you can keep going. But maybe there'll be, like, another mode that's even harder than the standard one, where your quick recovery is on. So, like, stuff like this won't work. That will also fail the mission. So then you have to rely, you know, get even more str strategic on which ones to use. Like, this one's good because this doesn't allow them to hit the ground and roll. So this would be the most ideal, but it limits your options on how many different combos you can use, so you may not get the highest score. Um, um, with quick recovery on. And these could be just like mini games and like different modes and just fun things to do besides just regular combat. Um, so that was an example. I'll give Sonata to some time as well. Because why not? Um, we'll give it time. Um, so these are just things that I've thought about, like, um, why not, you know, when you're playing with the settings. Just cool things to mess around with. You can do this infinitely. Um, uh, you can do this one. Um, this one's hard to pull off infinitely, but you can do that one too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just infinite. You can do it as long as you want. Um, 
and something like that. So for Naruto, it's a little bit harder because this is his main infinite combo. You do this infinitely, um, and it's pretty easy to pull off. The problem with this one is he bounces off the ground with that attack. So um, if you do the version with um, uh, quick recovery, <laughs> um, that does not work because he'll just recover out of it. So maybe you can do like the one, two, uh, one, two, three. Oops, uh, how do I do it? And then combo cancel. Oh, but that one's hard to combo cancel. Because it's just so quick. I think this one will probably be the easiest to do the one, two, three. Um, I think it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then Shadow Clone. Uh, oh, I can pull it off. Oh, it's so hard to get the timing when they don't fall at all. See, like, this would be such a cool game. And, like, see, like, how high you can get your score with different characters. Um, and every character is unique. And, like I say, in that one, Naruto doesn't have many options that don't bounce off the ground. So maybe Naruto doesn't get the best score because you have to use this. You can clear it, but maybe you don't get a Hokage rating. Because, you know, maybe it's do it for 30 seconds, do it for 10 seconds, do it for a minute. Uh, maybe there's a survival, do it for, you know, I don't like survival because then it's like, what's the point? It never ends. But maybe do it for 10 seconds and see how many different combos you can do in those 10 to 30 seconds to get the Hokage rating. So it will probably be hot for this number still to do it because there's just not that many combos that um, he can use that will... Uh, that won't bounce off the ground. Yeah, um... Uh, and, you know, maybe if, yeah, that's the point. This is how many you can do and how long does it go, how many different combos, and that could be like the rating system. I just thought that would be kind of fun stuff to do and they'd be like different challenges like the one that, you know, does it without the quick recovery. So obviously they're allowed to bounce on the ground. This gives you the most options for flexibility on combos because they can bounce on the ground for free and get, yeah, infinite air from bouncing on the ground. Um, and then the harder version of that would be, of course, Oh, I missed it. <laughs> it's just so fun! It's so fun! I want to make this a mode so bad! These are the things where the Clash Ninja system is just so much better than Storm. I'm sorry. It's just so much more fun than Storm! You can do so much more, and that's all this velocity reduction setting. Um, it's just so fun to play. You cannot do this stuff when that's on. Um, it will stop the combo. Um, let's see. I'll show you. I'm trying to do the same exact combo I did before. Oops. Um, let's do the three hit. Easy, and he just falls out. Um, it's just the same thing with velocity reduction. Off! Oops, that first one's always short. See, he gets that much more height. Um, it's hard to do, guys, because the volume's so low, because I'm recording, so I can't actually hear it. You do it infinitely if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just think that setting is so cool um, and thought you guys would, uh, yeah, enjoy it. Uh, that's why I'm really excited to release this demo. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for it. Um, I have a few more things that I want to add before I release the demo, so just be on the lookout. I will up obviously submit another post. If you're in my Discord, that's the best way to stay up to date. Um, I'll tag everyone when it's up. But anyway, just wanted to jump in and show you guys practice mode. Super excited to see what kind of crazy, ridiculous combos you guys can do with this um, uh, hitbox reduction um, able to be turned off. It's just so fun! The things you can do. Maybe um, there's another metric like if you can hit 100 combos, that also helps. So like hit 100 combos, use at least 10 different kinds of combos, and then they never, you, the combo never gets broken. Um, ooh, Sakura may be able to do this too. Um, at least without the roll, because she has that infinite combo. I'm not going to put it against Nunga. We'll change the stage. 
I'm, this video's getting long. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just having fun, guys, um, uh, at this stage. Feel free to quit now if you want, but I'm having so much fun with this. Uh, let's see, let's turn velocity off and just have some fun. Like, I think this should be infinite. Yeah, this is definitely infinite. Yeah, um, uh, but um, this was was already infinite. Ooh, it's broken actually. Yeah, because she doesn't. Um, this actually infinite combo only works when there is you know, like timing wise. It only works when there is the um, reduction. Um, yeah, because she's gonna go up higher. So like this is an actually known existing infinite combo in the game so far. I did a video on it a while ago. I haven't removed it yet. I think I'll remove once I finish developing the preset. Um, but the timing is so much harder to pull it off without the... God, but this one's easy. You literally just spam the button. And she'll stay in there pretty much forever. Maybe you can change that up. That one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, they're just so fun. Oh, that was so fun! So fun! Um, yeah, uh, I just feel like this is just gonna be so great. So many different kinds of missions and mini games you can have around these different kinds of settings and tweaking things like this. Um, but that monster reduction is just such a fun setting to mess with. Um, it just breaks the characters, but in a fun way to me. Um, just to see, you know, against the dummy, um, obviously her, this wouldn't really work against quick recovery, because it bounces. So you can't use any of these combos for the quick recovery one, so, like, you can maybe do, like, something. Oh, but even that's gonna do it too, so maybe, like... No! That misses?! No! Ah, oh, that is brutal timing! She actually can't hit! Hold on, I thought she could! Interesting! So I... That one's gonna be really difficult to do. Um... Because basically... This is like the only combo she can do that'll succeed. And the timing is so precise, because if she touches that ground, she's rolling out of it. Interesting! Yeah! Sakura is going to be... I mean, I haven't done all of her moves yet, so I'm sure she'll have some more moves, I think, I hope. Um, that'll be able to help. Because, um, yeah, this is, like, impossible. Oh, maybe that'll work. Um, if I do, so... Do that one. Oh, yeah! Okay, so maybe the air kunai can save it. Um... Oh, the timing is brutal, guys. It's brutal. Oh, I missed that one. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm so into this. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Okay, that's enough. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not taking the control anymore. This is the game so far. So excited to release this to you guys soon. Um, be on the lookout, join the Discord to be updated when this releases. I want to see your crazy combos that you can do. I will try, if I can, to finish PTS Sakura um, Space Moves set before I release it so you at least have three playable characters for real uh, and can try these combo challenges in this practice mode. Um, uh, and I just want to see the kind of crazy stuff you guys can do. P feel free to post videos. All I ask is that um, you do, of course, provide a link to my channel in your description. Let them know this game is from me. Um, just obviously want to have as many people follow as possible for this. Um, and if you're in my Discord, just um, if you can, um, I ask that you post the video in um, uh, the chat so I can share it. I'm all about sharing that kind of stuff. I love, you know, help to promote other people's channels as well if I can to my followers. So feel free to post your videos and I'll share them on my page as well um, uh, for this game. I might love to see how you guys play and things like that. Anyway, um, be on the lookout for the next demo releasing. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Enjoy your nights. Bye.